Shalom, 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 Brother Randy here. I'm going to give a quick update on the free range process of the uh, chickens. Now, they are in the chicken coop, uh, and that's all up and running. <clears throat> and I'm definitely now in the process of free ranging them. And uh, they seem to be working out just fine. Uh, this is the second day in which I've just let them just come on out and just roam. Uh, and they are doing uh, pretty good. Uh, they're, they're eating the grass. Everything seems to be fine. So I'm looking at the, um, you know, the actual cost associated. What did it cost? About two and change uh, a bird. I got about 35 birds, and it cost me about $15 uh, a bag, a uh, 50 pound bag of uh, feed. And so uh, after, uh, and I'm probably about 75% through that bag but after I finished the last little chicken scratch <clears throat> I'm just going to um, I'll turn them right all on, on over to the uh, the um, the grass so they, they can go ahead and, and and just enjoy the grass now as you see I've been working today on putting these fence posts up to fence them into this uh, round area this is going to be the main uh, garden area where I'm going to try and do all of the uh, production uh, and uh, long term the idea is to get them to clean out all of this area and uh, do some actual garden uh, do, do some more uh, raised uh, bed on this new system that I have going on uh, and I'm in, uh, still in the process of uh, you know QA and that and uh, it seems to be going pretty well the uh, uh, the food seems to be growing pretty well uh, in them, but I'm just still monitoring to ensure uh, the success of it. Uh, but yeah, this is at probably we're at eight weeks now. So uh, what I'm going to do going forward is letting them uh, go at seven weeks. So, you know, just running a cost benefit analysis, I can see why people would uh, buy uh, the chickens as opposed to just raising them. But uh, the idea is that uh, uh, definitely I want to go with breeding uh, the chickens uh, going forward. I'm going to look into the idea of the incubator. And uh, I checked out the prices and the incubator is going to cost about $90. So to recoup the investment on that, um, it holds about probably over 100 eggs. So I'm not going to be producing uh, those many uh, chickens at one time. I think I'm going to do them at a batch of 50 at a time. Uh, keep 25 uh, chicks uh, on hand to uh, or chickens on hand to uh, uh, lay eggs and then the rest can uh, be uh, slaughtered continuously so I'll do a cycle through uh, each um, uh, batch uh, to ensure that I have a good uh, turnover rate but uh, on the, 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 the overall savings are going to become definitely long term uh, out of uh, breeding them and so the next process is going to be to learn how to actually go about, uh, you know, taking the chicks, taking the rooster, putting them together, uh, and uh, breeding them out to um, see that. So that's what I'm in the process of looking at a lot of YouTube videos and uh, doing a lot of research on how to go about doing that. Uh, and also taking into consideration the uh, energy uh, costs associated with it. I'll continue to do it the same process in terms of the low wattage bulbs and starting them inside and then moving them outside but basically uh i uh, just wanted to give a quick update to uh the chickens they seem to be they seem to be doing pretty good and they don't go outside of this area uh pretty much that's what i'm noticing as well uh but uh yeah let me uh my back is killing me i think i did something on my back i got a little brace on right now so i'm gonna take it easy over the next day or two on my back but uh yeah so this is the uh, actual chicken coop and as you see all I basically did is just uh, put up some some uh, crates so that they can uh, sleep in there and uh, every day I wash this out so it's nice and fresh and clean in here and I got the drains uh, and I use some net cups to drain everything out and I just keep the chicken feed over there and what I can do as well is uh, use this top, uh, top half area for some storage so I'm just thinking about just putting all of their supplies in here and just using the top half to store their things. But uh, yeah, I got a little ventilation going. I know I'll clean it up uh, a little bit more. I just cut holes in the in the um, 
uh, the door, but I'll do some type of framing and stuff to make it look nice. But at this point in time, it's working pretty good. Uh, they are doing very nicely and they are pretty much staying where they are. So that's a quick update for now. Uh, and I'll keep you posted. Shalom.